Okay, today we're going to do a uh, real short review on the Sig Sauer P230. It's a uh, 380 semi-automatic blowback uh, pistol. Um, this one I've had for a, for a number of years. Um, just wanted to do a short review in case anybody had any questions about it. Show you that it's unloaded. Magazine's unloaded. See the pistol the chamber is unloaded also. Um, had this pins pistol for probably, I don't know, maybe about eight years or so. Uh, now they're, now the new model is a P232, basically the same kind of thing, though different grips and things like that. Um, real quick, the uh, magazine release is not an American magazine release, it's a European mag magazine release right here. You have to basically hold the front of the magazine, push back on the magazine catch to withdraw the magazine and when you're putting it in you see how it grabs on the bottom of the magazine well right there it's a seven round magazine plus one in the chamber it's a double single with a decocker double double action single action um, standard sights on the P230 were just uh, drift adjustable rear sight with a fixed front sight very rudimentary, very uh, very adequate for this this type of pistol, pocket pistol. Uh, very nice to carry and conceal. Um, this particular model is uh, all stainless steel, full stainless steel uh, receiver, full stainless steel slide. Um, has adequate grips. Uh, the only thing I did is I put a little bit of grip tape up and up in front here, just to give you a little bit of more texture in the front because it was kind of slippery with just a uh, bare stainless steel here. Um, semi-automatic every time you pull the trigger um, real quick about how to take it apart make sure again making sure the the pistol is absolutely empty let the slide go forward here's your takedown lever right here just flip that down with the slide forward grab your slide all the way to the rear lift up that comes straight off there's your slide you have your barrel as a fixed barrel you have your recoil spring, which is right here. You just grab your recoil spring, bring that right off. You see you have a fixed barrel. The weapon is very accurate um, because of the fixed barrel position. 25-yard um, groups were, were just about in like that. Uh, this gun uh, particularly shoots a little bit high with a 90-grain bullet. Um, for normal routine cleaning, that's pretty much it. All you have to do, you have your barrel, again, cleaning from the breech towards the muzzle. Down inside here, you can get down inside and clean everything out. Paying particular attention to this piece right here, which is your slide slide lock, um, which the magazine, you can see how the magazine interacts with this. As the, as the weapon runs dry, it'll push up on the mag, therefore locking the slide to the rear. Okay, when you're cleaning, Try not to hit this too much. It's very easy to uh, dis dislodge this uh, your magazine catch with this little spring that comes in here. And if you if you hit it hard enough, you can actually dislodge and lose that spring. So just pay particular attention to that when you're when you're cleaning cleaning the weapon. Um, very easy to clean. Uh, everything is exposed. You have your trigger bar on this side. Um, that's pretty much it with your receiver. Down inside your slide, again paying particular attention down into your breech area. Again cleaning it this way with the toothbrush upside down, down in here. To your back, your firing pin area. Your grooves where you're, where you're handling all the time tend to get a lot of crud built up in there. Take your toothbrush, clean it out with a good solvent. Wipe everything dry. Same thing with your, uh, with your recoil spring. Just make sure it's all wiped, wiped off with solvent. Dry it off. Good lubrication inside your uh, inside your slide rails here and here on both sides. Light coat over your over your barrel and any wear marks that you see down inside here on your on your slide lock here and on the other side on your trigger bar in the side of your barrel or anywhere you see see wear marks. Just give it a light coat of oil down inside your slide. Light coat down in here, not on your not on your breech face down in here, right around the muzzle in here. Okay, because that's where your barrel is going to ride on that back and forth. And that's basically all the lubrication that you're going to need. Reassemble the weapon. 
you have a small end of your recoil guide or your recoil spring and a large end. The small end goes on first, goes over the barrel, and then right back in this area it'll snap back on just like that. And then you're ready to put your slide on. Just put the, the recoil spring up into the front of your muzzle of your slide, pull straight back, all the way back on top of your rails, let the slide go forward, re-engage your uh, breakdown lever, rack it a couple times, decock, and the pistol is reassembled. Okay. Uh, one of the things you got when you're shooting this this particular gun, you got to watch. And if you have a beefy hand, you can see how your the back of your slide can really come in contact right here with the back of your the back of your thumb. So as this is coming back and forth, you have your serrations from your from the back of your uh, slide right here can come back and and actually maybe cut you just a little bit here. So just make sure you keep your thumb and your grip out of the way of that and it'll be fine. Okay, again, uh, double single action, single action to, to safely drop that hammer down, decock it, your decock lever right here, you're good to go. Seven rounds in the magazine, one, one inside the chamber. I just use a, uh, a uh, inside the, the pants, I've had this holster for about 20 years, and uh, very worn in, very, it feels like home. Um, that's, that's how I carry this particular weapon. Okay, uh, that's my review of the Sig Sauer P230. Nice pistol. Uh, tend, could tend to be a little bit pricey for a 380 pistol, but you pay for quality. Um, very accurate, very, very reliable weapon. Um, very happy with it. Again, thanks for, uh, for watching my review of the Sig Sauer P230. If you have any questions or comments, and don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe uh, to my channel for some more great gun videos. Thanks.